Hey there, how are we doing today? As you can see by this cool brochure, we're going to be checking, taking a look at the Seiko Ice Divers watches. And here we go, all three of them. One massive unboxing, SPB261, SPB263, and SPB265. So yes, we're not going to do one at a time. I'm going to do all three of these guys here for you. Um, this has been a really hyped up uh, release for Seiko, the Seiko Ice Divers. And uh, these Ice Divers are based on the Willard style, and the colors look fantastic. There you go, all the boring stuff, books, and your warranty card. Let's take a look here. Ooh, wow, yeah, here we got the gray dial, really, really sharp looking, we'll of course take it out of the plastic and get a better look at it. Now this one, um, it's probably the most popular out of all of them, the one that I've seen the most people gravitate towards the most. Um, the Ice Diver series started last year. They did um, a group of three Sumo watches, and I am so happy they decided to go with the the Willard styles for uh, this year's models. And they went a little more bold. They did some crazy colors. Here we got the blue and... Um, looks a lot less blue than in the promotional materials but let's take a look at it very very beautiful uh, a little more subdued than than the blue that we see uh, again in the promotional materials the bezel isn't really a, a black it's like a dark dark gray if you take a look at it um, you know or it looks like kind of like a satin black but it gives more of that, that blackish gray vibe to it. So first two done. Let's take a look at this last one. Can't wait. This one um, is going to be the green model. And it's always interesting to see the different green colors that Seiko comes up with. And this is definitely not going to be your traditional green. So let's take a look. Oh, wow. Huh. Hard to see through that plastic. There we go. Oh, wow. That green's got a lot of blue into it. Uh, very interesting. Yeah, I like it. It's got a, a cool, unique shade of green to it here. It looks really different. And um, again, look in the promotional materials. It's not as bright as in the pictures. And I kind of think that's a good thing. I think the pictures are great at uh, catching your attention. But to see these guys here in person, um, they, they look fantastic. And I'm pumped up. Um, like I said, there were the Sumos before. And now uh, this year, they did the Willards. There you go. There's a promotional uh, postcard. And let me rearrange it so we can get it kind of into the right position for which watch is which on the card very very cool um got those going a little bit so now you can see the second hands moving and uh, a little bit more of a close-up look you can see all three dials that blue um, in this light you can see it, it's popping a little more looks more like the promotional card there but that green is is a lot darker than um it seems in, in all the promotional stuff i've seen you know, very, very cool. Yeah, I feel like I'm being hypnotized here looking at all three of these guys. Um, the Willard, of course, uh, a legendary watch. The Willard was given the name Willard, of course, because of Captain Willard in the classic movie Apocalypse Now. And um, in that movie, he wears what is affectionately called a Willard because of his name. Um, 
and that's how you have the nickname Willard. Uh, Seiko, I don't think they've ever referred to it as a, a Willard. That's just more an affectionate nickname uh, for the watch. And here we can see the watches at a slightly different angle. And um, so the Willard, really for Japan, uh, what the big deal was, was they had, uh, they're basing the series on Naomi Uemura, who was um, an explorer for Japan. And back in 1970, um, he took uh, one of these, not this these Willards, but um, the original Willards, and took him into Antarctica. And because he was, um, it was part of the JAR project, which is the Japanese Antarctic Research Expedition. And so you got these frigid waters and these really harsh environment. And because he took, you know, the the grand daddy or the grand puppy uh, version of this watch, you know, to Antarctica, Seiko going with the Ice Diver series decided to directly tie in to his expedition and decided this Ice Diver series would be Willard's instead of um, the Sumos and stuff. And it'll be interesting to see what happens next year if they, perhaps they jump ahead and, and do something, uh, maybe with the 65 or something for the Ice Divers. So uh, we'll see what happens then, but I am thoroughly enjoying these Ice Divers. What's interesting, um, on the second hand, every single one has a pop of yellow on there, and uh, I think it's a great look for the watch. Um, it gives it a, a sportier, a funner vibe. I mean, who, who would have thought, you know, years ago when this watch came out, you know, in the black, then we were also pumped up when um, the SLA version came out, and man, that one was like 4200 something like that i know it was a limited edition but then last year coming out with uh these new willards um you had that black dial and the green dial and then eventually the the blue dial and this year they had the military inspired uh colors and then now the ice divers so they're just like the turtles um there's starting to be a lot of willards out there and i think it's great um so it's such a cool watch. It's got such a unique shape and design, the, the feel of it. And here, let's take a look at that green dial. Man, that, that, that is a lot darker than the pictures. But it's very, very cool, you know. If you like a darker face, uh, this would be the one I'd go with, I guess, compared to the other two, which are very lighter. The other ones, you see a little more of a gradient, um, lighter in the middle and darker at the edges. This one here is pretty much all the dark green and um it's got the if you look at the dial closely we can't see it too well in this shot um i had it in the shot before but there's little marks along the dial and those marks are supposed to um pay tribute again to you know antarctica and back to this fantastic uh, explorer um a legendary explorer for japan you know and here we go see you can see the the tracks better here on this dial and see it just looks like you know the piles of snow and ice um each of these colors were picked um because of the different reflections you get on the glaciers. So that's another really cool uh, thing because I always kind of wondered where they came up with the ice divers and what kind of color they used, uh, why they picked these specific colors. But these are, again, like reflections off of glaciers and snow in the Antarctic. So um, a very cool tie in there. Here we go. Um, I've got the green one here on my wrist, and you can see some of the texture dial again. And man, you know, the Willard is such a comfortable watch. You know, I try on a lot of watches, but there's just something about it. You know, it's it's not too big, not you know, 
not too tall because a lot of them, um, you know, some of the other Seiko models are very tall. This one's nice. It, it fits nicely against your uh, wrist. And it just like, it kind of f forms around it almost the way the angles are that they did there. Um, here, we got the next one. Man, I like all of them. It's going to be hard to pick a favorite. You know, with these Willard colors, uh, with the Ice Divers, total home run. I'm glad I decided to show all three together. The box came in today, and then I was looking at it. I was like, you know, let's do an extra long video. But let's throw all three of these so we can compare them for you guys. You could check them all out. And then here we got the gray dial, the blue dial before. And then finally the gray dial now. And then you can see there, it's got the, um, the stem and crown at the 4 o'clock. And then with the, the guard right around it, you know. First watch to give uh, Seiko that unique look. And then eventually, you know, this is the watch that will inspire the turtles and stuff like that. But a fantastic piece. Um, this movement in here is uh, a six-hour movement. So it is a 70-hour power reserve, which is really convenient. And here's the bracelet and a little glimpse of the case back there for you guys. Uh, it's, it's special uh, stainless steel with the extra hardening material that they do. So it's uh, scratch-resistant on there. And here are all of them in the dark. They all loom the same color. I know sometimes some of the models, even though they're the same, they'll have different loom depending on the model. But all three of these Ice Diver Willards have that same kind of glow to them. So I'd like to thank you all for taking the time to check out this video. I had a whole bunch of fun. Um, it was great doing all three of these at once. And uh, please like and subscribe if you guys are interested in one of these watches. Just check us out at papalas.com. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Thank you all.